routine for post drive especially if you're having a really long drive and you're just sitting in the car for a couple of hours um, this is something good to just like help flush out your legs get your body moving again get the blood flowing um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with some um, windshield wipers so you can put your hands behind you or you can just let them go and what you're going to do is just drop your legs side to side And it's really important when you're bringing your legs back up that you bring your belly button to your spine. You can do this however long you want to. Um, maybe do it for one to two minutes if you don't really know. And then what you want to do is, I like to put my hands back for this one. Um, we're going to do windshield wipers one at a time. So you're just going to bring one leg in. You're going to internal, internally rotate your legs. Maybe do like 10 each side um, and then we will come into a 90-90 position. So what that's going to look like is basically this front leg is 90 degrees in front of you, your shin is 90 degrees uh, away from your quad, your upper leg, uh, and then to your back leg, it's going to be 90 degrees to the side of you, um, and then your shin is going to be 90 degrees away from your quad. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to reach forward and then reach back. So this is going to help open up this back hip and then um, your like quadratus minimus, quadratus, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> gluteus maximus, gluteus minimus, uh, gluteus medius, and then these um, abductors. And so we're just going to move back and forth. Do that two to three times and then plant your hands on your front knee and we're going to externally rota rotate this back leg. You're just going to bring it out like so. Leave this foot on the ground. Make sure you're staying in that 90 degree angle. And then we're going to work to internally rotate again. So this is really difficult if you, especially if you have tight hips. Um, so I like to put my hands on the ground, that way I don't feel it a ton in like my QL, um, which is this muscle back here. So what you're going to do is just lift your back foot off the ground as much as you can, and you'll feel it right here. I like to put my thumb in there and just like dig in. Once you do five to ten of those, what you're going to do is kind of like a windshield wiper. So you're going to open up this leg, you're going to externally rotate. This leg will start to come off. Try and leave it on the ground as long as you can. Come to this middle position and then switch sides into the 90-90 on the back side. So once you rotate, you should land right here and then do the same. You're just going to rotate, lean forward and then reach back towards that back leg. You want to keep your chest up as much as you can the whole time. So even when you're reaching back, you kind of want to reach with your arms, not necessarily try to like lean over. All right, and then we're going to externally rotate. And then internally rotate. you can do this however much feels good um, if it doesn't feel good you probably need to do it longer but five to ten times is good and then while you're rotating I want you to do these three to five times each way um, try and do it with your hands on your chest you can do it with your hands out um, you can place your feet or your hands on the ground but you really want to make sure that you're getting into each position. So opening up and then drop 
dropping opening up and then dropping opening dropping Good. all right so the next thing we're going to do is a bit of a roll um, I like this because it helps wake up the spine it helps wake up the uh, hip flexors legs uh, so it's really full so on. what you want to start with is you're going to roll back bring your legs up you're going to plant like this and just switch sides try not to use your arms after you do four each side you're going to start to come up do is go into a long lunge, leave your knee on the ground. And then roll to straight leg. It's really important that when you are reaching forward on these, both of these uh, forward bend folds, what you want to do is pull your belly button to your spine so you're still properly patterning and protecting your back and spine. Um, the last thing here, what we're going to do is get back into that 90-90 position and you're going to bring your leg up so i like to start with my foot and then bring my knee off the ground rotate your hip and then bring it forward do this five times that was three and i'm going to demonstrate on the other side so same thing pick your foot up then knee rotate then bring it forward And then just to open up your hips a little bit more, what I want you to do, get into a kneeling position, half kneeling position. We're gonna start with this leg on the outside um, and you're just going to pulse back and forth like this. So it's really gonna open up these adductors. And then bring your leg forward and do the same forward. And you can even pull back, push forward. forward, you're going to inhale, pull back, you're going to exhale. And then do the same on the other side. Hope you like